Hello everyone, this is Brian. I just want to show you a little project that I've been doing for the last month. I've ordered uh, two different, uh, well the same plant but just from two different companies. And basically it's only the ones that are actually green. The other ones over here on the right are something that I started from seed. Those are actually pawpaws from where I work. They had some and they produce a tremendous amount of uh, fruit. I think uh, it's native to the southeast United States. I'm actually in the state of Tennessee. Middle, middle Tennessee actually close to Nashville. But um, what I was wanting to show you today real quick is I bought these Norway spruce for uh, security for deer so once they get established and get growing um, what I'm trying to attempt is to block out uh, the highway or the road that's in front of our property where I hunt to give the deer more security while they're out in my food plot and these right here are native trees I originally had the uh, the green giant, I think it's an arborvita, but the problem with that is it's actually uh, uh, in the family of the cedar trees, I think, and they are susceptible to cedar apple rust, which is a disease or a fungus issue that attacks apple trees. And uh, I don't think it necessarily causes major problems with cedar trees I'm not really sure I hadn't really looked at it in depth as far as how it if it kills out cedar trees but all I know is it damages apples apple trees that are susceptible to that and there are some varieties of apples that are not as susceptible to the cedar apple rust but uh, you have to do your research on it to see how susceptible they are to it otherwise you find your leaves on your apple trees to get rust spots on it and it could be devastating to the leaves which I think it affects the photosynthesis of the tree and it messes up the uh, uh, food making process so anyway I bought uh, some of the green arborvitas and realized that after purchasing them and already having them in the ground uh, which I really love how they look but you know they could potentially be creating a problem that I'm trying to get rid of on the property to begin with which is getting rid of all my cedar trees using the boards or the posts for uh, fencing and making my grapevine trellises but uh, other than that I've been just trying to cut them down and get rid of them and to replant with some other trees that are going to be beneficial to the wildlife in that area so that's what I'm doing with these so what all I wanted to show you today was yes. I've got this right here. I've got this tree, and then I've got these tree. This tree, of course, this tree right here is a little bit more uh, developed. I ordered these from a different company, and I might mess this name up, but I think it's Itzaka Nursery. I could be totally wrong with that, but uh, Itzaka. But I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be totally wrong. However. This tree right here is from Nursery Men. I wanted to give them both a try. They both seem to produce, send out quality trees. Uh, I purchased the Nursery Men first, potted them up, and uh, they actually don't honor a warranty for uh, potted trees, which is fine. I mean, that's their decision, and they have to do what's best for their company. But, uh, <clears throat> Uh, now these are two different, uh, two different um, sizes when I ordered them. I think uh, this has a, this had a very small amount of root system on it, and this one had this is a what they call a plant band uh, uh, root system, or in the pot itself, it's a, got a more cubic inch of uh, uh, dirt. And yet, so I wanted to give this. I figured this might take off a little bit faster. 
And I've only had these in these pots for probably about a, um, 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 a week now. Now these have been in these pots for over a month. Not exactly how long, but it's probably been about a month. And I noticed when I came home today, after work, I always kind of look at my plants. I try to just come out here and take a look at them, whatever, whatever, whatever I'm into at the time. It just depends. Once these, once spring comes, I'll be looking at these pawpaws and seeing how they're developing and going, going from there. And you notice I've got everything in my garage because it's supposed to be getting extremely cold, like in the uh, teens here pretty soon tonight and tomorrow when it's supposed to be really cold. So I'm trying to protect them. So it still gets kind of cold out in the garage, but it it, it, it helps them out until they get out in the real world and get established, and then they should be able to do all right. But what I wanted to show you is, is when I came home today, if you'll notice, I'm going to try to zoom in, is you'll see those real bright green spots on it, like, let me see, right, there's a green spot, right there, and here's a, a real green spot, a spot bright, that is actually, and you'll notice it, it's on this one, and it's actually on this one. And what that is, is new growth. Now it's January the 17th today. It might be the 18th. I don't know. I just woke up from a nap. I work last night. Uh, but anyway, it's to the 17th or 18th of January 2016. And like I said, I've had these in the pot for about a month. And they're actually starting to starting to send out new shoots, and this is in January, which I find amazing. That tells me that the plant is thriving, it's growing, it's doing something. Um, it's not dying. It's a good thing. So this is the first time I've done this, and um, just wanted to uh, show you that. Regardless if they they honor their warranty or if they honor a warranty, if you put them in a pot, which in this company they don't, uh, they uh, they can still do right. I mean, you just got to make sure you water them and um, uh, just take care of them. Uh, I've got some more of the smaller ones as well back in here, and let me see if I can. Um, I mean, you can look on this one right here as well. Let me zoom in. And you can see a spot right in here where my thumb is. There's new growth on that one. Um, getting some new growth right here on this one. And actually, I think all of them are starting to little, uh, show a little sign of life and really uh, uh, starting to maybe produce some producing plant or producing growth on it and what excites me more about anything is I think if you've got top growth growing then that means your bottom growth is growing and you know after you take them out of the pot that they're in when you buy them or whatever how they come and you get them in the ground it takes a while for the root to start to grow again and I think if I'm thinking correctly or if I understand correctly that um, it's only going to the top's only going to start growing when the bottom starts growing, so I'm assuming that um, that now that I'm starting to get some green growth on these uh, Nor Norway spruce, that um, that the root system is starting to grow. I mean, I don't know if you notice this. This is a wild looking pot. If you've never seen one, it is. Um, um, I think it's made from. Uh, a company called Root Maker. Um, you can look that up online. They sell different um, root enhancing products um, that create a fibrous root system. And I, you can see a video that I actually downloaded today online on YouTube that um, that shows you what that 
a, a root trapper bag will do. Now this ain't a root trapper bag. I can't remember what the correct terminology they established for this one. But the root trapper bags are these right here. Uh, and basically, they're calling that a root trapper too. And uh, basically, the roots grow down in this and it hits this outer inside wall and it traps those roots in there. So anyway, I've got them. Mostly all these are pretty much in some kind of um, root maker pot, except for these right here. I ran out of those and I had some other little smart pots from uh, years ago that uh, I think I've only got four of these. It's kind of similar to a certain degree as far as material that would be on the inside of this, but it's not exactly the same. It's something different. Um, but uh, I'm just giving them a shot. We'll see how well they do. But I just wanted to show you that today that, uh, that my Norway spruce that I purchased from um, um, Actually, the particular ones that are growing, I uh, have to give them props. This is Nursery Man, a uh, nice company to uh, buy from, and I will eventually buy something else from them. Um, now, I purchased these. These were a little bit smaller plant, and uh, 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 but they are growing. Now, one of the things I didn't notice about pricing is, you see the difference in size, to be honest with you, this tree was the same price as this tree. Now, some people would say, well, shoot, if I'm going to buy it, I'm going to buy this one, which, I mean, I'd almost agree to, but at this point in the stage, I don't know how well this is going to take off. It's healthy. It looks great, but they both look great, and I'm pleased with this tree right now that it's got new growth on it, and it's, it's surviving. Um, um, you can't knock something that that's actually working. So I mean, um, I, I've actually um, ever one. I bought ten of them. I didn't go out and buy a bunch. I wanted to see how that was going to work. Um, bought ten of them, and uh, they actually sent eleven. I guess they might put an extra one in there just in case you have one to get damaged or whatever. And I appreciate that. I mean, I think it's customer service right there. And I mean, this tree probably from their standpoint didn't cost them probably but a few cents to make anyway, but who, who knows, but I appreciate them doing that. But each one of them has, uh, they're still alive. I've had none to die and they all look somewhat healthy. I actually look healthy. I shouldn't say somewhat. There's none that actually look sick. So, I mean, they all look like they're alive and doing well. I do have to take them outside when it does rain and let the, let them get saturated with some water. That's the main thing about these young plants is, You've got to make sure you water them because otherwise they'll dry out so quick and uh, then you're going to strain the tree and it's not going to benefit. So I wanted to show you that. As far as uh, these little new tree, these new trees I got, so I appreciate your time and uh, I'll be back soon. Have a great day. Bye bye.